Good day everyone! So sa video na to, pag-uusapan natin ang tangents and seconds of a circle. So we will start from tangent line. So a tangent line to a circle is a line complainer, complainer with a circle and intersects it in one and only one point. So a tangent line intersect the circle at exactly one point. The point of intersection of the line in the circle is called the point of tangency. Take for instance, we have this one. In the figure on the right, P cube intersects circle C at point at A. So P Q is a tangent line and A is the point of tangency. So this one, P Q, line PQ is a tangent line because it intersects the circle at exactly one point, at point A. And point A is called the point of tangent C. So let's go with the post postulate on tangent line. At a given point on a circle, one and only one line can be drawn that is tangent to the circle. So let's have the illustration here. To illustrate, consider circle V on the right. If U is a point on the circle, this one, if U is a point on the circle, then one and only one line can be drawn through U that is tangent to the circle. So, isa lang. There is only one line tangent to the circle containing point U. Okay? So, yun yung sinasabi sa postulate ang tangent line. Now, let's proceed with the theorems on tangent line. Number one, if a line is tangent to a circle, then it is perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of tangent C. To illustrate, let us consider this example, this circle. If AB is tangent to circle Q, this one, AB is tangent to, to uh, circle Q at point R, then it is perpendicular to the radius QR. So, perpendicular siya. It is because uh, uh, pag per perpendicular siya, meron siyang uh, it will create a 90 degree angle. So, the measure is 90 degree. At sa kabila, 90 degree din. So, perpendicular siya. Ibig sabihin, um, it will create at 90 degree kasi perpendicular man siya. Okay? So, let's proceed with number 2. If a line is perpendicular to a radius of a circle at its end point that is on the circle, then the line is tangent to the circle. So, let us consider this one, this illustration. If line CS is perpendicular to radius LT at L, then it is tangent to circle Q, like this one, the illustration on the right side. So, yun yung dalawang, oh, meron pa palang tatla. There are three theorems. So, the last theorem on tangent line is two segments from the same exterior point, from the exterior sa labas, are tangent to a circle, then the two segments are congruent. To illustrate, if the DW and GW are tangent to circle E, then... DW is congruent to GW. So, ito siya. Yung line na yan, pati line na yan, are congruent. Okay? So, those are the three theorems on the tangent line. So, tandaan lang ninyo, i-familiarize lang itong mga um, theorems na ito. Kasi we need this one when we uh, answer the activities. Okay, let's define common tangent. A common tangent is a line that is tangent to two circles in the same plane. So, there are two tan common tangents. The first one is common internal tangents. And the second one is the common external tangents. Anong difference ng dalawa? Common exter internal tangents intersect the segment joining the centers of the, of the two circles. Like this one. So, there is a point of intersection point of intersection ng dalawang tangent line natin. Line C and D are common internal tangents. 
Samantalang, yung common external tangents naman do not intersect the segment joining the centers of the two circles. O, pansin nyo dito, itong line T and then line S do not intersect. So, lines S and T are common external tangents. So, yun yung pagkakaiba ng dalawang internal and external tangents. Okay, next, we proceed with um, this one, tangent in second. Segments and rays that are contained in the tangent or intersect the circle in one and only one point are also said to be tangent to the circle. To illustrate, let's, let, us have, let us this example in the figure on the right. In the figure on the right, uh, segment MN and ray QR are tangent to circle S. So they are tangent. So yun yung sinasabi that segments and rays that are contained in the tangent or intersect the circle in one and only one point are also said to be tangent to the circle. So they are tangent to the circle. Okay. Let's proceed with second. So ano ba yung second line? Kung yung tangent line intersect the circle at exactly one point, ang second line naman is a line that intersects a circle at exactly two points. So, yun yung difference ng dalawa. Ang tangent line intersect the circle at exactly one point. Ang second line naman intersects the circle at exactly two points. A second contains a chord of a circle. To illustrate, let have, let's have this one. So, in circle A, MN is a second line because it intersects the circle at exactly two points, at point M, at, at point N, and point M. So, dalawa. Okay, this one, these theorems on angles formed by tangents and seconds, we have to familiarize with this one. There are actually five theorems here. Kailangan natin i-familiarize ito because we uh, we need this one in solving problems involving uh, tangents and second, uh, seconds. So, the first theorem. Sige, ito number one. If two seconds intersect in the exterior of a circle, ibig sabihin, in dalawang seconds na nag-intersect or nag-meet sa labas ng circle the exterior then the measure of the angle formed is one half the positive difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs so let's have an example, ito siya, itong given, in the figure below um, nx and my are two seconds intersecting outside the circle at point P. Arc XY and arc MN are two intercepted arcs of angle XPY. So, ito, this one, this one is an example because the two seconds, this one is seconds, ito, second, uh, second line, ito, pati ito, second line, they intersect, uh, they intersect at the exterior of a circle. So, sa labas sila dag intersect So, to find the measure of the angle form, sana yung angle form. Angle form. Ang angle form is ito. This is the angle form. Ang gagawin ninyo is kunin nyo yung one half ng difference ng two intercepted arcs. Since this is the angle form, ang two intercepted arcs niya is ito, this is the, the the first intercepted arc and the other intercepted arc is ito. So, ang gagawin nyo, um, kunin nyo ang difference. So, ibig sabihin, yung minus niya. So, the positive difference. Ibig sabihin, unahin natin yung malaking arc subtracted by the smaller arc then kunin nyo yung one half. So, to solve ito, so, the measure of um, XPY, ito, 
x p y so ito yung angle x p y this y ito yung angle form to yung inahanap natin that is equal to one half the difference, the positive difference of the two intercepted arc. The first arc is ito, arc xy, tapos minus arc mn. Yan. So, for example, if the measure of x is 140, 140 ito siya, 140, and the measure of mn is 30, ito, so, ang gagawin nyo is, ito na, the measure of angle XPY is equal to 1 half times the quantity of 140 minus 30, and that's 110, and get the 1 half of 110, and that's 55. Ibig sabihin, ang measure ng angle form natin is 55. Okay? So, yan yung sinasabi sa um, theorem number 1. Pag yung dalawang second nag-intersect, para makuha yung angle form, kunin nyo yung one-half ng positive difference ng two intercepted arcs. Okay, let's proceed with number two. If a second and tangent intersect, ito naman kanina dalawang second. In this case naman, isang second and isang tangent line nag-intersect sa labas, interior of a circle. Then, the measure of the angle form is one-half the positive difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs. Ibig sabihin, the same, the same lang din dito sa first. Kasi one-half one half the positive difference of the measure of the uh, intercepted arc. One half the positive difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs. So the same lang din sila, pero pinagkaiba lang um, isang second pati isang tangent line. Pero ang pagkuha ng measure ng angle form are the same lang. So kunin nyo ang one half ng positive difference ng two intercepted arc. Ito yung first inter uh, ito yung first intercepted arc ito. Okay, so, kunin nyo yung difference ng dalawa and get 1 half. Example, ito siya. Ganun din. 186 ito. And this is 70. Hinahanap natin ito. Para makuha ang measure nito, get 1 half of the positive difference of two intercepted arcs. 186 minus 70 116, so 1 half of 116 is 58. So, measure ng intercepted uh, angled form is 58. So, the same lang din sila sa number 1. 1 and 2 are the same. Ang process ng pagkuha ng angled form. For number 3, for number 3, dalawang tangent line. If two tangents intersect in the exterior of a circle, if sabihin, sa labas sila nag-meet, then the measure of the angle form is one-half the positive difference of the measures of the intercepted arc. So, the same pa rin siya sa theorem number 1 and 2 sa pag-compute ng measure ng angle form. This is the angle form. And these two, uh, two lines are tangent line kasi intersect nila yung circle at exactly one point. So, pag, pagkuha ng measure is kunin pa rin yung one half ng positive difference of the two intercepted arc. This one and this one. So, the same din yung process. So, one, in, one two, three, the same yung process na pagkuha ng measure ng angle form. Then, we proceed with number four. For number four, if two seconds intersect in the interior. Ibig sabihin, nag-meet yung dalawang second line sa loob ng circle. Then, the measure of an angle form is one half the sum. So, iba na. Kanina, difference. The sum of the measure of the arcs intercepted by the angle and its vertical angle. So, ano kaya yun? So, ito. Let's have an example. In the figure below, WS and RX are two seconds intersecting inside the circle. Arc WR and arc XS are the two intercepted arcs of angle 1, while arc WX and arc 
RS are the two intercepted arcs of angle 2. So, this one. So, ang gagawin natin, halimbawa, hinahanap natin yung measure ng angle 1. Ito. This is angle 1. Hinahanap natin ang measure niya. Wait mo na. Okay. Hinahanap natin ang measure ng angle angle form, which is the angle 1. Okay. Para makuha ang measure nito, kunin nyo yung kunin nyo yung measure ng kunin nyo yung measure ng uh, kunin nyo yung one half ng sum ng measure ng intercepted arc and the angle uh, intercepted by the angle and its vertical angle. Sabihin, ang vertical angle kasi ng 1 is ito. Ito yung vertical angle niya. This is the angle form. Tapos, ang vertical angle niya is dito na ang, ito na angle. So, para makuha yung measure ng angle form, kunin nyo yung yung 1 half ng sum ng angle, ng, intercept, ng intercepted arc na ito, pati yung intercepted arc ng, ang, ng vertical angle. So, ito dalawa, i-add ninyo, kunin nyo 1 half. For example, ito. The angle one is 1 half the measure of arc WR plus, plus na siya, no? Kasi sum na siya, na siya difference. The measure of angle, of arc, rather, x as ito. So, ganito. Example, the 100 itong WR, tapos yung XS natin is 120. So, i-add ninyo, kunin yung 1 half. So, 100 plus 120 is 220. Get 1 half, that's 110. So, the measure of this one is 110. 110 ito. And then, since this is vertical angle, Ibig sabihin, ang measure nito, since vertical angle man sila, ang measure nito is 110 din. Kasi vertical angle, um, vertical angles are congruent angle. So, the same yung kanilang measure. They are vertical angles. Okay, next. Ito naman. Um, this one. Um, angle 2, ganun din ito angle 2 hinahanap ang vertical angle niya ito tapos yung intercepted arcs na nila, kunin yung sum tapos get to 1 half, ganun din so, 1 half of 140 is 70 so 70 yung measure ng angle 2 sabihin, 70 din yung measure ng um, vert vertical angle niya okay so, iba. Iba yung number 4. You're going to get the sum. One half the sum of the intercepted arc and the arc of its, in the intercepted arc of its vertical angle. So, yun. And the last theorem, number 5, if a second and a tangent intersect at the point of tangent C, so, ibig sabihin, nag sila sa point of tangency. Then, the measure of each angle form is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. Or, in other words, parang inscribed angle lang siya. Kasi, one half lang siya ng measure. Yung angle form is one half the measure of the intercepted arc. So, parang i-apply lang natin yung um, inscribed angle. So, think Tulad nito, um, dito yung point of tangency, dito sila nag-meet, isang second, isang second line, pati isang tangent line. So, para makuha ang measure nito, angle form, so, kunin lang ninyo yung one half ng measure ng intercepted arc. So, this is the intercepted arc. QS. Okay. So, one half niya, halimbawa, ang measure niyan is 170 na kalagay. So, one half of 170 is 85. So, 85 yung measure niya. So, yan yung 
yun yung sa uh, theorem number 5. So, theorem number 5, parang Skype angle lang siya is because you're going to get one half the measure of its intercepted arc. Okay? So, i-review natin. 1, 2, 3. The same lahat yung gagawin nyo. Yung number 1, dalawang second, nag-meet sa labas ng circle. Yung number 2 naman, isang second, isang tangent, nag-meet sa labas ng circle. Number 3, uh, dalawang tangent line, nag-meet sa labas ng circle. So, lahat ng ng line na nag-meet nag in exterior sa labas ng circle, ang gagawin nyo is get the one half of the positive difference of the two intercepted arcs. And number four naman, kunin nyo yung one half ng sum, ng measure ng intercepted arc, and ng uh, intercepted arc ng vertical angle niya. Number five naman is just get the one half of the measure of its intercepted arc or para siyang inscribe angle. Okay, so yun lang yung ano natin. So sa panibagong video natin, um, i-explore natin itong theorems pati yung mga na-discuss natin a while ago yung about sa second and tangent line. We will have an activity on that one. We will answer one by one sasagutan natin yung mga problems and we, we should familiarize with this uh, with this theorem para masagutan natin yung mga, activity, yung mga activities so yun lang for this um, for this lesson thank you and God bless everyone